Now, I have to tell you, this just seems so natural, because today, Ted, myself, and Rob sat at the Grace Gospel Church, a special day, 75th anniversary, for about two and a half hours, and I said, isn't it unique seeing three politicians sitting together, praying all at the same time? So, it was a special day for, a special day for the church, but it was pretty unique, uh, and... Uh, there's a rumor, I have to tell you this, and I'm going to get out of the way, it's your turn, you're the minister. But there's, there's, this, there's this rumor that goes around town that, uh, uh, you know, Ted goes everywhere. I have to, I'm telling you that, I know firsthand because I'm the same. But there's this kind of rumor I used to hear that Ted and I were going steady. Because we're together so much. So I said to Ted one day, let's just hold hands and see what happens. So it's a pleasure to be here, thanks. Listen, I'm happy to be up here with, with Kim Crater, you know, and we've worked together with Ted on so many infrastructure projects in this area. I, 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 I would, even if I tried to give you the list, I wouldn't be able to get all that list together because it was the cooperation between all three of us here. And I tell you what, I am very, very grateful for that. It's going to make a difference to Niagara Falls, and uh, it's something that uh, will pay benefits for many years to come in this city here. And I, very grateful to Ted uh, for his cooperation with, with Kim and I in putting these things all together. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I've known Ted Salsi for over 30 years. He is a dear friend of mine. He has the best interests of this area at heart. Everything he does is for the best interests of this community. Ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't be more proud to be on this podium here than to introduce him, introduce our mayor, his worship, Ted Salsi. Come to the podium, Ted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for being here. I can't thank uh, Kim and Rob enough uh, for joining us here today. I'm here with my family. I'm very proud of them. But I want to say something about, about Rob and Kim. I'm going to talk about this in a second, but uh, I have uh, the benefit and the, how can I say, the, the, the fortune, the good fortune of having two members of Parliament who love their riding and their cities dearly. And I have... Uh, a great relationship with both of them as you know today uh, Kim was talking about it and uh, and Rob we were just joking about it this morning and Kim maybe you're letting it uh, the word is out I'm not sure the cat's out of the bag but anyway uh, we are we do get along well and uh, I can tell you for the sake of the city we have had the benefit of having three people work together and you can see the results we've tripled the capacity the ability yes thank you the ability of our tax paying dollars to go further tripled the money because of these people and I say thank you sincerely to them and and uh, they've been most accommodating, and I'll talk about that in one moment. I just want to share a thing or two, if I could, about our family. I'm pleased to be here with my lovely wife, Sharon, who's always by my side, our daughter, Kara, and Ted. Uh, you know, we, we have uh, been very fortunate in having uh, a chance to serve the public of Niagara Falls, and my family has been behind me 100%. I have cousins and relatives here from outside of the city, and I thank them for coming. But more importantly, these people live with the politics of our city each and every day. And when I come home and I'm frustrated, my wife is always there to be the, the sounding board. Or I'll get a call from Ottawa and my daughter will say, what'd you do that for, Dad? <laughs> and Ted will say, you did what? So, sorry, Ted. So, I am pleased and I'm very proud to, uh, to have my family with me. You know, uh, we talk about commitment and uh, I want to talk just about relationships. I have, as I said earlier, had the benefit of working with two wonderful people at the provincial and federal level. And they have opened doors, and I've had the ability to call ministers directly and to establish relationships with those people who make a difference in our government that affect our city. And whether it be on the provincial, the federal, and even the regional scene, we've had an opportunity to work with those individuals to really get some things done for our, for our city, and it's certainly a, a privilege for me. I was privileged enough to be elected by the citizens of Niagara Falls, and you people gave me that privilege. I've never, ever, ever wanted to let you down. And I'll tell you, I can tell you, I never take it for granted. We work hard, and we work 24-7. It's something that I enjoy doing. And I can tell you many times, Kim and I will leave. Kim, Rob, Rob's covering the country east to west, north to south. Kim covers the three cities. I think I'm, I'm busy doing one, but he'll leave me in after going to four or five events in one night and go off to another one in Niagara and Lake or to, to Fort Erie. So that's the kind of uh, busy schedules we keep. And my secretary said, you know, people will never know this. And I said, I know, but you're trying to kill me anyways, I think, right? So, but it's really amazing because people don't know what you do. And they see, of course, at different times, but it's part of the uh, passion you have to have. And I think that the three of us do share that passion. You know, I uh, wanted to say a few things about this campaign. I, I certainly don't take campaigns lightly, and I work hard, as you know, throughout the year. But I do have uh, the benefit of my family's support, and I'm able to give 150%. And last seven years, we've done that, but it's been a lot of fun. 
and we've packed a lot of living into uh, that short period of time. And I hope there's some, you know, as the song says, this is a great city, but there's greater things to come. And we're working on that, and there's some exciting things happening. We're just looking at a $100 million convention center we're opening in our city. And thanks to our federal government, who came in for a third, our provincial government, both Kim and Rob went to bat for us on that. We had the regional government involved as well, and the private sector. And I can tell you that the convention center is on time, it's on budget, it's going to be, be completed by the end of December, it'll be opening in April, and it's going to change the lives of Niagara forever. And what it means to you and I is it's going to give us year-round potential in our city, and that's something we're looking for. We want to eliminate the seasonality. We want to make sure that we had better employment opportunities for our younger people. And we know that Niagara is a great bargain in the off-season, and we're hoping that we can capitalize on that. And we showed the federal government and the provincial government, if you invest your $35 million, the return is substantial. Another step forward in providing more amenities. And this council, our council decided, and one of the things you'll see a sign inside, we want to make sure there are more amenities for our residents. Just before I got to City Hall, they had the groundbreaking, of course, for our new McBain Center. And we're very pleased that we have a very vibrant and strong and active community center on a P3 partnership with the YMCA. Well, in addition to that, our council wanted to commit more dollars. And after 60 years, I'm pleased to say we have a brand new four pad arena. And I'll tell you, $38 million, thank you very much for that, but it's our taxpayers who are supporting this. But $38 million commitment is something that we wanted to provide as a council to provide the amenities and, and be a leader in terms of having the state-of-the-art facility and rather than being behind the scene. And, and I can tell you, the Mastersons are here right now and they said the ice is fantastic. Everybody I talked to said this is the facility is excellent. This, the players are just enjoying it. I guess it's the fastest ice in the league, they tell me. So it's nice to see that we're on the leading edge again. So a $38 million arena. And I thank the council, all of us having that focus together to make that a reality in our city. We had 23 new businesses open downtown in Niagara Falls last year. 23 new businesses. So, again, there's more coming. We have uh, some additional businesses coming. Druxy's is going to be coming, the Cheese Truckle. We have a new TV station known as Peninsula TV. They'll be relocating at the Seneca Theater. So that'll be like a city TV type production. So it's going to bring life to our downtown core, where our city hall is, and where we conduct our fiscal business. So again, that's another thing we're very proud of and something that we've got to see and keep it going. I just wanted to thank all of you because you're the ones that give me the privilege to represent our city. It's a pleasure. We've done it on an international scene. We've had uh, international attention brought to Niagara Falls. We've done it provincially, regionally, as you know, certainly uh, federally. And I thank everyone involved. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me the privilege. I'm asking you once again for that support again on October 25th. Thank you for coming today. Please enjoy yourself. Again, enjoy. Uh, we take, uh, take a sign with you if you like, but have some food and beverage, and uh, we'll be around to say hello. Thank you again, and good luck to all my fellow candidates. Thank you. Thank you for putting your name forward, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate it. Thank you.